Mumelan, 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 Sivinki, welcome to another fire, super amazing, super dope episode of the Mobile Schools podcast. Remember, do not like, do not subscribe, do not share, all that unnecessary, not needed, not needed at all. The internet has won again. Uh, what happened was that Facebook was planning to introduce Instagram for kids and they've decided not to go ahead with it because... People are like, yo, dog, already teenage girls are struggling with their weight. They are struggling with their looks. They are struggling with pimples. And not just teenage girls, even teenage dudes, they are all suicidal because they feel like there's so much pressure in society because all they see is like happy pictures. And they look at their lives and they're like, yeah, my life is terrible. I need to kill myself. Or I need this surgery to fix my nose. I need this to have a big ass. I need this to have big titties. And no, 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 no. And some genius was like, hmm, let's give it to five-year-olds. Fuck out of here with that nonsense, man. Like, stop, 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 stop. We're grateful for what you guys have done as Facebook, like, in terms of, like, marketing. It's easier to market things online, on Instagram, on Facebook. It's easier to communicate on WhatsApp. And we should never take away from that. Like, I feel like people pretend like Facebook is this evil company. I'm like, hey, man. And then they compare it to like cigarettes. Like, oh, this is like the cigarette companies. Like, okay. No, it's not. With Facebook, it's crazy because it's like, hey, as a parent, you don't buy your kid that phone. As a parent, you control what your kid has access to. You cannot buy your kid a phone and then do not check if they've downloaded Instagram and you act like you're surprised. Like, Facebook came to you. It's Mark Zuckerberg came with a gun and like, ugh. Download Instagram so you can be miserable. No, it didn't happen like that. So let's stop blaming Facebook. But I'm glad they decided to not go ahead with that nonsense of theirs. Um, so another thing I want to touch on is Amazon. Amazon is launching a robot. But in a nutshell, it's not even like a serious robot, man. Like what these idiots did was like they took like a Roomba, put a stand, a tripod on a Roomba, and they put a tablet that has Amazon products like your Hulu, your assistants, Alexa, so all of that nonsense. So it's really lazy from Amazon to come up with that nonsense. They should just work on a car if they really want us to talk about them. But like the robot that follows you around, it's like weird. Like, yo man, I really, I'm not that bad in life. I don't need a robot that follows me around. Uh, with that said, I just want to take this opportunity to talk about South African entrepreneurs and the government. Forget it. The government of South Africa will never do anything for you. Governments all over the world, their mission is not to create jobs, but it's to create opportunities for the private sector to create jobs so they can hire people and the government taxes those people. That's how the government makes money. In South Africa, we have this lazy policy of let's take from white people and give to politicians, not even to like poor black people, to politicians. So if you're an entrepreneur, do yourself a favor. Do not go into projects with the government. You'll wait forever. They will not respond. Even if you're not in the country and you try to get hold of the embassy, they really don't care. They just want to do like videos so they can say, oh, we're doing this and talk on video. And when it's time to get on the ground and do the work, <laughs> you're on your own, bro. You're on your own. I experienced it, but I'm not here to bash anyone. I've got this, man. Like, it is what it is. Um, this is a bit heartbreaking for me to witness, but it's very important to discuss the gambling culture in South Africa that has become so easily accessible via social media guys that way and all the other betting companies need to be regulated first of all we don't know the people the people's ages we don't know their mind state we don't know their financial state and they are busy on that way trying to be rich back in the days when it was just casinos at least you could go to a casino and bet and they would tell you like Hey, you are not allowed to get in you young, but 15 year olds have phone. They love sports. So of course they want to think I can bet and they start betting and then it becomes a thing. We're going to 
in the next six months, we are going to have a group of people in society that are addicted to online gambling, which is based on sport, and it's going to frustrate a lot of them, and they're going to turn into too, too many things, from abuse to drugs. So we need to make sure that the gambling board in South Africa is regulating that. I don't know how they're going to do it, but my suggestion would be to get all these betting companies, online betting companies and casinos to register the people who vote based on their identity and work with uh, home affairs, but then that's too much information, personal information that's going to betting companies. But maybe there should be a way that says, if you want to bet, we need to get uh, the go ahead from home affairs, but then we have a home affairs that's so unreliable, that's so lazy. Then they should start an organization where they all put money as betting companies and the organization is to make sure that people who want to download are of age and the uh, organization will protect all the data. It can be a private company, all that stuff, but we are dealing with a situation that's very dangerous and it needs to be sorted out before it's too late. So, yeah, man, please do not forget, I'm not a podcaster. Like, I'm not that guy who's going to be like, hey, guys, please, did you see what happened on Twitter? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not a podcaster. That's Those are podcasters. Those are podcasters. I'm an independent TED talker. Oh, well. Yeah.